And meanwhile, the middle class bearing the financial brunt of Bidenomics. And Jackie, you have all the numbers for us. And the numbers are not as hopeful mm. as I thought they would be. The new data showing actually that the president's plan to let Trump era tax cuts expire would raise taxes on most Americans. So who specifically is going to see the tax increases under President Biden? We are diving into the real math here. Here are some examples of three middle class Americans and how much they make and if they have children or not. We're going to start with a single filer with two kids making $52,000 a year. Under Biden's tax plan, this tax Taxpayer would see a $1,474.50 tax increase. Now take a look at a single filer, no kids, making $75,000 a year. They're going to see an increase of $1,707.75. And this one is the one that really gets me. A married filer, so you've got a couple, three kids, making $200,000 a year. This couple is going to see an mm. increase of $7,449.56 mm. when the Trump tax cuts expire. And it's a nuance here because actions speak louder than words. His mm. words are going to be, I didn't raise taxes on people making less than $400,000 a year. Mm. Right. That is technically true. No new taxes. But when you let these tax cuts expire and it has this kind of impact yeah. on people, think about that last example. Yes. On top of the taxes you pay, on top of the inflationary pressures you're feeling, you're going to shell out another $7,500. Where are people going to get it from? That's like uh, effectively you with, with three kids. Well, you just made this really close to home all of a sudden. I know. Yeah. Well, that's the goal here. It is. And you know what's crazy about it is is Biden's, he's on the campaign trail saying, I'm doing all this because I want to get the rich. Right. The, the applause line is the rich. Yes. But the people who pay for his applause line are the middle class. Right. The family with three kids is going to see $8,000 more in the tax bill next year on top of the inflation and the grocery bill. You're seeing a shrinking of the middle class. That's yes. what's happening yeah. here. And, you know, sort of to echo comments that we get from Jay Powell yesterday coming off of Fed Day, he always says inflation and some of these tax increases hurt those who can least afford to bear the brunt of these. That's mm. why when we talk about inflation is a tax or raising taxes on you know, a family of right. five making $200,000. It's hurting those who can least afford to do so at a time when inflation is so high that they're least afforded, at least equipped, you know, to handle totally. all of this. And here in New York, I look at, now I look at my receipts, the sales tax I'm paying at a restaurant or if I'm buying an article of clothing that's over a certain amount. I mean, they are getting you from every mm -hmm. literal angle.